J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 undergraduate mathematics A questionnaire. The official link to the answer key and the original questions are in the description. We are given two curves, C and C1. The curve C1 has coefficients that are unknown. They are called A sub O, A sub 1, and A sub 2. We are told that we can obtain C1 using the following. First, we take the graph that is symmetric to C along the x equals 2 line. And then, we take that graph, and C1 would be the graph that is symmetric to it with respect to y equals 3. We are asked to find the values of the coefficients a sub o, a sub 1, And a sub 2. To do that, first we reflect c along x equals 2. And then we reflect the resulting graph along y equals 3. We then compare the coefficients of that new graph with the given. For the first step, we reflect c along x equals 2. To do that, first we move the graph so that x equals 2 is moved to x equals 0. And we do that by replacing all the x's in the equation with x plus 2. And then we reflect the graph around x equals 0. We do that by replacing the x's with negative x. And finally, We move the graph back two units to the right. We do that by replacing the axis with x minus 2. Combining all these three operations, we see that we have to replace x with this expression. Here, the plus 2 is from the first operation, the minus here is from the second operation, and the minus 2. Is from the third operation. So now let us replace the x's with this expression. In other words, the original y would now be y of minus x plus 4. And here we do the replacement. This is the original x as well as this. And when we simplify, we obtain this and finally this. This is now the graph that is symmetric. To C along the x equals 2 line. Next, we reflect the new graph along y equals 3. To do that, first we move the graph downwards 3 units so that y equals 3 would now coincide with y equals 0. And then we reflect it around y equals 0. We do that by replacing the y's with negative y's. And finally, we move the graph back up three units. And we do that by replacing the y's with y minus 3. Combining these three operations, we see that we have to replace y with this expression. This plus 3 is from the first operation. The minus here is from the second operation, and the minus 3 is from the third operation. So, let us now replace the y's with this expression. And this is the new y. This one is copied from the previous slide. We just simplify this, and we obtain this, and finally, we obtain this. Now, we just have to compare this with the given equation. That gives us the following values. a sub o is negative 4, a sub 1 is 10, and a sub 2 is minus 2. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!
J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe.